Hey guys, what's up? What's up? This is my S610 3 long wheelbase, the truck that Mr. RC Sparks or Medic gave me. And still to this day, I really appreciate this gift from him. This thing is, has proven itself many, many times. It's got these crazy uh, reefs, RC steering, and the dig servo as well. So this little dude here is the Traxxas um, step-down box to do Traxxas LEDs. So Traxxas make these sick uh, lights. This one is on these little hinges, and this is I'm obviously going to use for the top of that beautiful gladiator body that he gave me. That's what these guys are. And then I have it plugged into another little junction box so I can run three lights off this that plugs into the box. That's what this end is right here. So if I plug that in here and all the wiring that I did here, don't worry, I will clean it up. It's just for now, just to test, right? So I've got this little box here, the step down takes two live wires here and then a signal wire from your receiver slash this part here is <laughs> the ESC and receiver all in one. Anyway, and that's all wired up. This cable here is for in case I want to run a, a Traxxas battery that's also wired in the same cable that is plugged into this ridiculously awesome battery from Smart Technologies. Uh, 3,203 cell. Look how skinny this thing is, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And there's a 30C, obviously 11.1 volt, 3 cell, 3C discharge rate, which is 9.6 amps. Nuts. And it has a special connector that this little gray wire here indicates on my radio what kind of... Uh, I almost said pressure I have, what kind of a battery uh, or charge I have in it. But this weekend is a special crawl again with a bunch of special people. Uh, so I need more than one battery pack to make it through this crawl. And I don't have any of these just yet or the charger for this yet. So um, I'm kind of in a in a dead end here. So I threw these on so that I can run a Traxxas battery, which I have tons of right now. So I'll throw another, obviously, a three cell in here or a two cell in here from Traxxas, and then I can, you know, at least finish the crawl. And then I'll take this shit off because I really want to run these beautiful smart technology batteries. They work so well. And, yeah, you can charge the living goodness out of it, right? If you have the smart technology charger for it which I'm still waiting for the more batteries and more uh, one more charger to do this. Yeah. Anyway, enough talking. <clears throat> That's all plugged into those guys down there. I'll put them here close so you guys can see them at least. I have one popping up this way. Anyway, so I'm just going to switch it on. No radio. <clears throat> and there you go. This guy's obviously syncing itself and waiting for the radio. But yeah, there's one of them. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them here, so I thought if I had them on top of the cage of the Jeep, two of them pointing forward, and then one pointing to towards the back, so I can at least crawl at night now, because, you know, winter problems and whatnot. Anyway, really cool. I love this freaking thing. Thank you so much, <clears throat> Mr. Aaron. I do appreciate you, man. You are the bomb. Still can't believe you just give this thing to me. But anyway, unreal. And now I get to have fun with friends outside of the shop on usually a Sunday where I take half day off from the shop so I can go breathe fresh air and laugh my butt off while I roll down the hill. No, I haven't been rolling with this thing. This thing's ridiculous. All we did is we threw some Proline Hyrax on here with a dual stage foam in it. So soft here, hard here. 
and some uh, vanquished rooms. And these guys are 1.9, I believe. It probably says it here somewhere. I just need to find it. Whatever. These are too small to be too, too. So, yeah, that's what that shit is right there. Lovely. Love this truck. I can't believe I have this truck. And very impressive. The long wheelbase. From now on, I'll do long wheelbase stuff. Because, man, they crawl up a hill like nothing. And the... The area where you usually get something stuck in the middle, now you have all that rear hanging on this side so it has enough weight for these tires to grip and I'll usually back up and then hop over it kind of deal. Or it has enough traction to just push the front end and then the whole front end, you know, if you move the, the rock here, that whole weight here drops the nose down and she's ready to go. <laughs> super sick, super realistic. I love the bow housing slash gearbox slash transfer case with a dig function the dig function man i've never used it on an rc before man does it work real good anyway by far a really sick product and maybe one day i'll have a real life one like this i hope yeah can only dream right um yeah other than that man this thing's very dirty I've been running it through the pond here in the putt putt course and it's full of algae and stuff. So as you can see there's green gook stuff everywhere. And yeah, so let me put this off. So that's what's gonna happen to the lights. So I obviously have for that body also like a little bit of a mooned uh, light bar, which I'm throwing on the roof and then uh eventually i will do the crawling lights on this too so it shines onto the wheel well or just down here so one two three four but now at least i have enough ports here i have three miles here and another two miles here so i might have to do all kinds of weird lights on this thing you know why not <clears throat> some street glow or something just to be a punk <laughs> anyway you guys i thought i'd just say what's up uh and i'm busy filming this guy here so watch out for this to come out real soon um other than that man i've done an unboxing on this mst so i filmed that that's gonna come out soon and i've started modifying the body on that sucker too so that's gonna be cool anyway just uh, a thank you from that african and i'll speak to you guys real real soon Hope you guys are having a blast. Thank you for all the love from Venezuela and around the world. I really appreciate you guys. I just wanted to say thank you and peace.